In this video, we will explain the installation of the rails and folding plates of the compact door. The first step is to measure the door opening dimensions and to check the walls or installation frame. Walls need to be flat, level, straight and stable in order to avoid problems in usage. We can now calculate the length of the rails to make sure that the door closes on the agreed opening height. Check the instruction manual for more information on the length of the rails. Note, if you have enough top space available, you can mount the rails in full length. The rails for the compact door can be placed universally on the left and right side. We will start our installation on the right side. Remember to use the proper safety measures. Use the angle grinder to cut the first rails to the correct length. Remove any dirt from the floor and place the rail with the flat cut side on the floor against the wall. Fix the rail on the wall and check whether it is level. Now you can place the second rail on top of the first rail and fix this to the wall as well. Both rails will fit into each other because of the connection shape. Now place the folding plate on the top of the rails and fix the folding plate to the wall. Note, now is a good moment to check if everything is mounted level. With the help of a laser level, you can determine the correct position and height of the rail for the left side. You can place the box brace bar on the floor to determine the correct distance. Now repeat the steps for the left side. When both folding plates are in position, attach the upper and lower box brace bar between both folding plates. Both box brace bars should fit with ease when the door is correctly installed. In the next video, we will show you the installation of the parts on the non-motor side.